Bookies are going all out ahead of this week's highly anticipated presidential debate. It'll air tomorrow night, 8 p.m. right here on KCMO 95.7 FM. And uh, we will also carry the Fox News post debate. So about um, 8 o'clock to 1030 tomorrow night. You are going to get debate coverage right here on 95.7 FM. We'll have full reaction on Friday morning. Bill O'Reilly is going to be here on Friday morning, so do not miss that. As uh, this debate is expected to be one of the most watched presidential debates in American history. So betonline.ag has these 47 debate props out. So, Mark, I'm going to need a killer parlay for you uh, tomorrow. All right. I'll send you these prop bets. But I was looking through these. I thought they were pretty good. So first off, the viewership total per Nielsen ratings. The over-under on that is 80.5 million. Now, here's what makes this difficult. We have never had a debate this early in the cycle of a presidential year that's not like a primary debate. Usually the debates come, obviously, after Labor Day. People are back in their fall routines. But this is very unique. It's June. The conventions haven't even taken place yet. So technically, these guys, I guess, are not the candidates. I mean, they are, but, like, they're not. So it's weird. We've never had something this early in the year. We also haven't seen something like this in modern American history where it's a rematch and both of these guys have been in office in the previous eight years. So if you get to 80 million, that would top every debate from 2020. The, the, the most watched debate in 2020 was the first one. It got 73 million. The most watched debate in American history was Trump Hillary. The first one got 84 million. That was done um, at Hofstra University in Long Island, New York by Lester Holt on NBC. But prior to that, I mean, you go through some of the numbers here. 2012, most watched debate, 67 million. 2008, 69, 70 million. 2004, 62 million. 2000, uh, it was really weak. 47 million people watched the first debate between Bush and Gore. That was the highest viewed of all the debates. 96, of course, with Dole and Clinton, you got 46 million for the first debate. You got to go back to 1980, the second debate between... Carter and Reagan got 81 million. That was the record before 2016 between Trump and Hillary. I want to lean to the over, but the reason I'm not is because I don't know if the the summer vacation stuff that people are finding themselves in right now. I mean, July 4th is a week from tomorrow. So I just wonder if people being in summer vacation mode are not going to watch the debate just because they're like living their lives. So I would, if I had to bet that, I'd bet the under. Now, I do think it's going to do better than 2020. I think it'll be somewhere around 75, 76 million. But I don't see it topping 80. Because a lot of the people who might watch it, you know, suburban voters going to sit down, get home from work, pop on the debate. I think there's a portion of those people, at least this week, in the next week, who are on vacation somewhere. And I'm like, you know what? I'll catch the second debate in the fall. Like, you know, at least we think there's going to be more debates. They've been agreed to more debates. But I would lean the under on that right now. If I was a betting man, I would bet the under 80 and a half million. It just feels too high to me. Now, other prop bets on here. First topic of the debate. The odds-on favorite is the economy. Then it's foreign policy, healthcare, immigration, AI, climate change, Hunter Biden, cryptocurrency are all options. See, I don't think the economy is going to be number one. There's no way that CNN and Jake Tapper is going to lead with the economy because that's an issue. I mean, it makes sense to lead with the economy. But that's an issue that if Trump does his job... He should clean Joe's clock in the first five, 10 minutes. There's no way that they start with an issue that is favorable to Donald Trump. There's not a chance that happens. I think they start off with Trump's trials and all his tribulation. I think that's where they begin. You know, the rule of law, democracy at stake. You know, they'll somehow tie in January 6th to Trump's legal issues. That's that's where I see this going out of the gates.
but they think that Joe's doing great with the economy. Well, which is kind of awkward. See, that's true. It, 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 well, they will say that on TV, but they know the polls show that when it comes to the economy, Trump is significantly stronger. So even if the CNN lackeys believe it, they also see the polling that suggests the American people don't believe it. So I see what you're saying there, Mark, where they're like, hey, the economy's great. This is a win for Joe. But they also see the polling. So I don't think they'll do that, even if they want to believe it and they believe it themselves in the CNN headquarters, which they do down there in Atlanta. I, I can't see him going down that road. All right. Uh, length of Joe Biden's longest pause over under four and a half seconds. <laughs> well, it just depends if he freezes up or not. And I mean, that's anybody's guess. I don't know what the drug situation is going to be. First candidate to mispronounce a politician's name. Joe Biden minus 500, Donald Trump plus 300. So Biden, a significantly better odds to be the first person to mispronounce a politician's name. Basically, you got to put down $5 to win $1 on Joe Biden. Trump, you got to put down $1 to win 3 bucks. Uh, first candidate to condemn Israel. Joe Biden minus 300. Donald Trump plus 200. I mean, obviously, Trump's not going to condemn Israel. He's buddies with Netanyahu. It's not going to happen. First candidate to in, interrupt a moderator. Trump minus 250, uh, which means you got to put down $2.50 to win a buck. Joe Biden plus 170. You put down $1 that wins you a buck 70. How many times will the moderator ask to stay on topic? Over under seven and a half. See, I might lean the under there because they're cutting off mics. So you have less of an opportunity for the moderator, Jake Tapper, to have to do that. Uh, First candidate to suggest the other one's on drugs. (laughs) Oh, that's good. Uh, By the way, Trump's a heavy favorite. (laughs) Mine is 700 for Trump on that one. To be the first one to accuse the other guy of being on drugs. <laughs> now, Biden has better odds to be the first candidate to say shut up to the other candidate. So Trump's got much better odds to allege his opponents on drugs. But Biden's got the better odds that he's going to be the guy to say shut up in the debate. I, what, what does it say about where we're at as a culture and a country that we're now getting part? We're getting uh, prop bets. On who's going to allege his opponents, you know, doing drugs and who's going to tell the other guy to shut up. Things that you wouldn't even have fathomed, uh, you know, three election cycles ago. We thought it was a big deal when, uh, you know, Obama and Romney were going at it. I mean, that was like kid gloves compared to today. Hey, man, you're on drugs. So shut up. Okay. I mean, that's what we're looking at tomorrow night. Oh, my goodness. Um, Let's see. What else do we have on here? Which candidate will be trending highest on Twitter X at the end of the debate? Trump has the heavy hand on that, obviously, and he will. No doubt about it. Uh, You can get odds on Biden to say shut up, Trump to be warned and scolded by the moderator. That's definitely going to happen. You can bet on Biden falling asleep. That's plus 1,200. (laughs) That's pretty good. Uh, Biden having a five-second brain freeze. Either man walking up. Trump says bing bong. That's uh, what is that? Trump saying bing bong. What the heck is that all about? Biden says dictator douchebag. Uh, There's odds on that, too. The easy money one is fake news over under 1.5 times said. Oh, 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 hammer the over on that. That's a no brainer. Which nickname will be said first? Sleepy Joe, Crooked Hillary, Fake Tapper, Crazy Jack Smith. <laughs> oh, man, that's pretty good. I don't think Trump's going to break out the sleepy. I, I mean, unless Joe, like, falls asleep, I don't think he's going to do that. Fake. If Trump says fake Tapper, I'll just lose it. I, I will like die. fake Jake. I, fake Jake. <laughs> fake Jake the snake. I, if he breaks that out, I'm going to die. I really am. That's just going to be great. All right, we'll, we'll have Mark put together a little parlay for tomorrow's show. Okay, Mark, you ready for that? You'll work on that after the show today? Oh, yeah, I got that. All right, he's fired up, man.